the last jumbo dollar issued by the U.S. Mint for circulation. By jumbo, I mean big coin, size of the Morgan and Peace dollar. Well, many of you probably guessed it right. Can you believe it's been 50 years? The Eisenhower series, replaced by the Susan B. Anthony, replaced by the Sacagawea, replaced by the presidential dollars, replaced by the innovation dollars, right? The last big 38.1 millimeter are the Ikes. And tonight, one of our favorite collections is finally back in stock. The coin was made from 1971 through 1978, right? A dual issue commemorating our president, 34th president, five-star general, and also the landing on the moon, all tied together in the same concept of the coin. But something a lot of people didn't know is, is that we made P's and D's for circulation. You're seeing them on this first sheet. But what's that coin way over on the right that says S, and it looks like it's a silver coin? Well, the answer is they made a silver coin only in San Francisco, and it was not released in the circulation. Now, there is a fifth coin in this collection that is silver, and that's our bicentennial right there in the middle. Now, you might have noticed variety one, variety two on the P's and the D's for the bicentennial. Now, the quarters and the half dollars are identical, no changes. But when you get to the Ike dollar, you can easily see two different reverses. So we know the type one is 1975. We know the reverse of the 76 is a beady, more of a straight line. So as you can see right there on the left hand side, flat on the right hand side, very narrow, type one, type two. There was no type one, type two with the San Francisco's. And then they continued on in 77 and 78, replaced by the Susan B. Anthony in 1979. So they're actually eight years of issue, and we can differentiate the bicentennials with the flat back and the detail back to make it eight different coins. So P's and D's, that makes 16 pieces. And then there are the San Francisco uncirculated every year without fail, those four years, 71 to 74, and the bicentennial, the lowest minted coin, only released to the public as collector pieces, not as circulation pieces. And again, you can see it right there, boom, silver on the right. Next page, boom, silver in the middle. Here are some of the numbers our competition have on these gorgeous Ikes. Oh, and by the way, uncirculated Eisenhowers, yeah, look at these. Big difference between uncirculated and circulated. Love the coin, but it's like night and day for a coin that's 50 years old to have that big of a difference when you peek at it. The peace dollar, high grade circulated to low grade uncirculated, look kind of similar because of the way they designed the coin. But Eisenhower's, the way it's designed, you know the difference. So my competition has the five silver coins, that beautiful 76 S, as well as the 71 to 74s, the five coins. And they're at, well, they're at 290 for just the five silvers. They're at $56 on the 71 to 74, and they're at $62 on the bicentennial. Add it up, crazy price. Now, the 16 P's and D's, the eight P's, eight D's, making 16 of the regular copper clads that went in the circulation. They have all those too. They add up to $294. So they have the silvers for $100 more than we have the complete collection. They have the copper clads for $100 more than we have the complete collection. When you add theirs together, we're one third of their price. And we've assembled it for you in the number one album in the industry. They charge you $29.95 just for that album. That's the AVC way. We're not looking to sell one set tonight. We want to sell a couple of hundred of them, no questions asked. When you get them, you're going to love them. All the heavy lifting, so to speak, as a collector is done. Now, when you see the avccoins.com on the bottom right pop up like you just did, it's just the studio's way of reminding me to look at the monitor to tell me how many phone calls we have coming in. And right now we call what's called Q. I have more phone calls coming in than operators on the phone right now, so as a result, it's gonna be backed up a little bit. It's only about 30 seconds. 
The best part about technology today, though, however, is what? You dial the toll-free number on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. It goes all the way through. You hear the fast busy. Bummer. You put the phone down, wait about 30 seconds, hit redial. Brings you right back in. On the other hand, it's tied to our graphic of the website. Let's bring that up one more time, guys. AVCcoins.com. When you look at that graphic, it's just another way of saying, hey, an alternative ordering option would be going online. Your smartphone, your laptop, your home computer, all you need once you get there is the item number on your screen or tabbing through on the dollar Eisenhower on the left-hand side, and you'll find this beautiful collection. Now, what are the other little tidbits on this, right? Everybody always forgets it's 21 uncirculated coins. Most think it's 14 because they don't realize the 75 and 76 Eisenhower are different and tracked as different. Most don't know the silvers were there, so as a result, it's just an interesting collection, right? P's and D's, right? How many of you, when you got one, said, pretty cool coin, but... I mean, I was a paper boy in the 60s, and my brother took over in 71, and I remember going with him, going through the process and all this fun stuff, right? And it's like, geez, these things are heavy. Love them as a collector. And I was a collector because my grandfather got me hooked, filling up all the Whitman albums with all the change I got from picking up the dollars and cents from the route. And uh, it's like, uh, I mean, pretty much concluded, I would prefer you not give me these big coins because then I have to have a pouch and my little thing in my waist with all my nickels, dimes, quarters. There's not a slot for them. <laughs> So we brought the mini dollar out, and what was that? It looked like a quarter, and we did it to ourselves. What a shame. But the end of an era is what we're looking at here, guys. The end of an era, period. Let's put a one-minute clock up if we can. Lots of activity. If you're visiting us via the web on this one, and it's in your shopping cart, and you're going to hang around for a while, thank you for that. Uh, this one might sell out in the meantime. So whenever we see it getting close, we're going to let you know. That way you can push it through. And you get an order number, you know you're in a good place. And then if, you, if we can entice you with anything else later in the show, call us back. Let the operator know you have an existing order. We'll make good. We'll add to it. That way it's one simple process to work from. So the end of an era. We had the big Morgan. We had the big piece. And the same size as the Eisenhower. Last of a kind. Lasted for eight years. Finally had to go away. There are eight P's, eight D's, 16 in all uncirculated, the coins we saw as we were doing commerce that part of the 70s. And then there were the five silvers that San Francisco made just for collectors. As I referenced, my competition's $100 north on either of the two sections, the five silvers or the 16 clads. The bottom line, though, is we add them together, we're a third of their price. We have them all, including the album, for just $199.95. Give us a call.